There's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to death if you've lived a full life. Here are five lessons about life and death from people who know. I've just interviewed three palliative care nurses who have spent decades taking care of terminally ill Australians. They've seen thousands of people die. This is what they've learned and what they're telling you. The nurses say it's not uncommon for like a 90 year old to see and hear their own mother in the room just before they die. They say there are medical reasons why this happens. Hallucination and delirium is common just before someone dies. But they say whatever the reason, if it happens, just go with it because it's a source of comfort. They've also seen many people live longer than they were medically supposed to. People do hold on for anniversaries, for Christmas, to say goodbye to specific people. There is such a thing as a will to hold on. People are capable of extraordinary beauty in times of grief. Death is heartbreaking, but it's also a chance for many people to focus and reconnect with their family and prioritize. However, the nurses say, if you're a greedy, selfish individual, you don't suddenly become beautiful and caring and generous. That trope is not real. This one isn't a surprise, but they say life is worth living. Take a risk, do things. We've had many 60 year olds just about to retire get a terminal diagnosis. So seize the day. I'm gonna jump this thing. And there's nothing to be scared of. They say if you've lived a full life and at the end you're surrounded by loved ones just before you pass, there's nothing to be scared of when it comes to death. They're not scared.